Starbucks channel. Today we are going to be recreating some of your favorite Starbucks drinks. So stay tuned for some... <laughs> if you want to see how they're made, save some money and create them by yourself. Disclaimer, we're getting these recipes from other people and the link will be in the description. If they turn out bad, you will see us fail, but if they turn out good, go try it yourself. So let's go to the store and buy the ingredients. got done with Target and we got all the ingredients that we needed which is basically just popcorn because I got some popcorn because I love their popcorn and now we're heading back to the house to make the drinks so this one is called the iced cinnamon almond milk macchiato so these are the ingredients laid out right here we have a k-cup uh, espresso pod Right here, the organic espresso blend. A uh, half a cup of vanilla almond milk. One tablespoon of cinnamon. She added a little bit more. Uh, and two pumps of caramel syrup. I'm not really sure what a pump means, but it's gonna be a generous squeeze. And ice. So the directions say, in a glass cup or coffee cup, add ice, almond milk, syrup, and cinnamon. And then brew espresso in two glass and enjoy. That's that. What we're going to do is we're going to add the ice into the cup. I think that should be enough. And half a cup of the almond milk. There's the, there it is. Right. A whole tablespoon of cinnamon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hun, this is a lot of cinnamon. This should be a tablespoon. Oh mm. my god. Mix it with the milk. I made a grave mistake and licked the, the spoon. There's As of lot. now, it is super strong. Okay, so we're gonna add, she said two pumps, so I'm gonna do Two one. squirts. This is seriously so unhealthy. Now, people may say, oh, I am drink Starbucks, I'm unhealthy, but you know what? The amount of sugar that they put into it, it's probably worse than soda. But it's really good, let's be honest. Well, yeah, because you put enough sugar into anything. So the directions specifically say, in a glass or coffee cup, add ice, almond milk, syrup, and cinnamon. We decided to add the caramel, cinnamon, and all that stuff into a separate cup. We're gonna pour it into the uh, Starbucks cup, and then we're gonna pour the coffee directly into our drink. That looks like a smoothie. Espresso in, smallest cup. Hopefully this I... doesn't overflow. Espresso on top. I mean, it actually looks pretty proportionate. It's half and half. Okay, so then we're gonna mix it. All right. Ooh, for the final touch. Are we adding whipped cream? Yes, we are. We right. add whipped cream to everything. Whipped cream makes everything better. We're gonna add a little bit more cinnamon on top. And that right there is probably... That looks really legit. Test taste. I'm nervous. Way too much cinnamon. Way too much. But is she, it good? No. Oh, it isn't? You can actually bite into solid clumps of cinnamon. That's how the real one is. <laughs> it is. At least mine. Really? Until I shake it and like stir it around, yeah. This looks really good. Mm. Test taste. Too much cinnamon, yeah. 
Too much cinnamon. She meant teaspoon or half a tablespoon. The coffee consistency is really good. It's not too strong. But look at it. Look the at this. The only bad thing about it is there is way too you much can see, cinnamon in it. Yeah, you can see all the cinnamon granules just stuck on the side of the cup. That's way too much. I give this a... I say three out of ten. <laughs> oh my god, it's not that bad. Yeah, it is. It's drinkable. It's not bad. It's just too much cinnamon. A six out of ten. A six out of ten? I say three out of ten. It wasn't that good. We're going to be making is the pink ombre drink. The first step that we're going to be doing is we're going to be brewing the tea and out of the Keurig it comes hot but we need to make it iced. So that's where the a lot of ice comes in. We're going to be pouring it over ice. We're going to let this sit for about a few minutes to let all that uh, tea and cheese into it. Okay, so it says to pour or get some ice in here. It says to fill the cup halfway with ice. Just put the milk and lime together and pour it first. So what we did basically to do a recap because the video is a bit all over the place. Um, we brewed some hot water from the Keurig into a measuring cup. Filled it with ice to cool it down, and then we're, we just have the Tazo or Tazo, however you want to pronounce it, iced passion tea bags soaking in there, infusing. And then while that's infusing, we filled this halfway, and in another measuring cup, we're going to put the almond milk or coconut milk and lime juice in together, stir it, pour it first, and then pour this over top of it. So we're pouring one cup of vanilla almond milk. So then we have one tablespoon of the lime juice and we mix it together. So that's honestly it, is the milk and lime juice, infused passion tea, half a cup of ice, you pour the milk first, Oh, wow. Let me take these out. So you pour the passion tea over the coconut milk. Oh my god. Yo! It's a bit darker than the original pink drink, but this came out honestly pretty good. the final result pink ombre drink all right take a sip now we you have to test it. taste it you gotta mix it so i don't know how this is going to taste because one i never had a pink ombre drink so i don't know what to compare it to and two we substituted the coconut milk for the almond milk so does she like it It's not bad. It's very bland. It's not sweet. Hmm. You know how to fix this? Add sugar. Add sugar. So we added four teaspoons of sugar, which it does say in the thread that you can add sugar if you want to. And now we're going to test it because it was a bit bland and I think we used too much tea. Yeah, when I can actually like crunch on the sugar. I think it would have been also more successful if we used coconut milk instead. So I rate this drink a 5 out of 10 without sugar, 6.5 out of 10 with sugar. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is the uh, caramel frappuccino. So this calls for 2 cups of ice, 1 cup of strong brewed coffee, 1 cup of low fat milk, uh, almond breeze, 1 third of a cup of caramel sauce, and 3 tablespoons of white sugar. So we have our Nutribullet. Oh, okay. Actually worked out. Okay, we got a few like actual whole 
Wait, was that actually two cups? Pretty good. So, this is probably what you want right here. So we got our two cups of crushed ice. All right, next is one cup of strong root coffee. Cool. Oh yeah, that's the espresso. The espresso K cups. Okay, so we got the espresso K cups here. So we are brewing the espresso or dark roast. First, pour the ice in the cup. Okay, ready? This is professionalism in this one. It looks yeah. pretty cool. Oh, Jesus. And we also need a cup. A of cup this. of. It says, um... Low-fat milk, but yes. we're gonna use almond milk because that's what we have. In the vanilla flavor as well. So three tablespoons of... Sugar in the milk. And then a third cup of the caramel sauce. This then? Let it chill. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's probably going to be as chill as it can. Next. We'll see how it goes. The milk and sugar. Mm -hmm. Oh, honey. We're almost at the top. That kind of actually looks like the shade. One third of caramel. All right, one third of a cup of caramel. In this specific recipe, it said to buy the Starbucks specific caramel, but we just bought... Smuckers. Yeah, we just got whatever we wanted. Okay, well, we're definitely not going to have enough. Hopefully. Uh, oh, golly. <gasps> oh! There we go. This is the final result. All right, test taste it. Don't be garbage. Oh my God, that's sweet. Oh, it's so sweet, but it's good. But it's very sweet. I give this an eight out of 10. Just because it's so sugary. Like it's overly sugary. It's really good. So these are the final three drinks. The pink ombre drink, the cinnamon, Almond milk macchiato and the caramel frappuccino. You can obviously tell that the caramel frappuccino was the best since it's pretty much half gone already. Yes, this honestly tastes legit if it wasn't for the consistency. So we rated this one a 6.5 out of 10, this one a 5 out of 10. Yeah, after being mixed, that one, I would say like a 7 out of 10 now. It actually tastes really, really good. And this one definitely upgraded to a solid 9 out of 10. So the caramel frapp was the best. So that's the end of the video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and wait for the next video. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Bye.